What I eat in a day as a former vegan who added protein to her diet. My reintroduction to protein. Okay, I did not think I would be stopping the video that early. <laughs> Let me make sure I heard that correctly. What I eat in a day as a former vegan who added protein to her diet. The reason I and other vegans bring up nutrition when talking about ex-vegans is because of things like this. This is why we're always asking, well, what were they eating? Implying that a vegan diet doesn't have protein, that protein is animal products, shows a significant lack of nutrition knowledge. You can get plenty of protein on a vegan diet. There are numerous high protein foods like soy, of course, soy milk, tofu, tempeh, other legumes, lentils, chickpeas, black beans, pinto beans, peanuts, and of course everything you eat has some amount of protein and that will add up by the end of the day. I regularly get about 100 grams of protein on a vegan diet, especially today. You know, you can argue that, you know, 20 years ago when it was much harder to find like a concentrated source of vegan protein, like a protein powder, you could argue that, yeah, it might be harder for someone who maybe just has a really small stomach and can't fit a lot of food in, you know, dealing with all the fiber you get on a vegan diet. You could argue maybe for some people it could be difficult to get moderate to higher amounts of protein. But today when we have 500,000 different vegan protein powders, like there's, there's really no excuse and you know okay you could do cost but like lizzo i don't i don't i don't think we even have to talk about price here if i can afford vegan protein powders i'm sure she can too we know americans know so little about nutrition and unfortunately that translates to vegan americans or plant-based i don't know if she was actually interested in animal ethics or anything like that i think she was just interested in the health benefits i could be wrong i just totally lost my train of thought <laughs> brain fog i got the vegan brain fog i need some fish unfortunately that translates to people eating plant-based as well they still tend to have little knowledge about nutrition maybe only listening to like other influencers and of course in the past looking at vegan influencers a large number of them ate like low fat high carb vegan diets which are very restrictive not good in the long term so yeah this is why we're constantly asking what were you eating my reintroduction to protein started with japan Someone suggested I try a Japanese diet because it's one of the healthiest diets in the world and it has some of my favorite foods. I mean, the healthy aspects of a Japanese diet are largely the plant-based aspects. You can argue that certain fish is health promoting as well. I talked about this recently in my review of the book, How Not to Die, Dr. Michael Greger's book, How Not to Die. But I don't think the benefits of a Japanese diet have anything to do with egg white cups. How clean and delicious their food was. I indulged in fresh sushi and fluffy egg and I was amazed at how good my body felt the next day. I don't even know how to talk about something like that like how would you expect to feel <laughs> i mean sometimes if you've been vegan for a long time like well i just had this experience recently actually i've been vegan for 15 years and i had some animal free whey protein powder i've had animal free whey products before this is whey created via fermentation it's a pretty cool process i've had them before but mostly in ice cream so there's really not that much i've never had a large dose and so I made a smoothie with like a, a normal like scoop size of this protein powder and oh my stomach, like almost immediately, <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. Thank God I work from home, have easy access to my own bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, there is that aspect, you know, if you haven't eaten a food for a while or at all, and then you introduce it, you could have some digestive issues. People often experience this going plant-based or going vegan, um, particularly with eating like beans, eating more beans and having gas but yeah the feeling better the next day you know it reminds me of the who's the lady who wrote the vegetarian myths book and she said she could feel like every cell in her body vibrating when she ate fish <laughs> obviously lizzo's not that extreme but um yeah it could just be placebo effect people told her this is amazing and you're gonna feel great and so she felt great after tests and research i found that animal proteins helped <gasps> me okay i'm sorry i wasn't listening i was looking at that okra water the slimy the slimy okra water oh my god 
God, no. After tests and research, I found that animal proteins helped me have more energy, lose weight, and helped with my mental fog. Mental fog. What, what did I say? So what's the most likely reason here? That there's something special in animal products that gave her more energy, helped her lose more weight, uh, reduced her mental fog, or that she simply wasn't eating enough on a vegan diet and or enough protein. There's no evidence of some special nutrient or something in animal protein. Other than B12, I assume she was supplementing for B12. Interesting, she said weight loss too. I thought she was a like big proponent of the fat acceptance movement. Good for her for moving away from that and trying to get healthy. Wait, wasn't she accused of like body shaming dancers or something? I just remembered that. Point is we're seeing more and more uh, overweight, obese influencers switching and saying like, ah, actually maybe weight loss is good, which is great. We can have both, right? We cannot body shame and not make people feel like shit, but also say like, yeah, being significantly overweight is not good for you. I do believe that the vegan diet is still the healthiest diet to have. And I aspire to one day be a raw alkaline vegan. Until then, this is the diet that's helped me reach Oh no. Oh no. She hit me with the vegan diet as the healthiest. I was like, oh. Then she hit me with the raw vegan, raw alkaline vegan. Oh shit. We'll start with the first one, vegan diet being the healthiest diet. It's possible, but we don't really have evidence for that. The evidence we do have is overwhelming for a plant-based diet, not plant-based 100% plants or vegan, which is how people often talk about it now, but like based on plants, right? Your diet is mostly plants. Limited amount of animal products and probably like certain animal products, right? Not red beef or processed meat, but like fish, low fat dairy, egg whites. The difference between that diet and a 100% plants diet is probably so small, you wouldn't be able to tease out any difference. That said, the twin study that was published last year, I believe last year, the year before, um, um, did find differences, meaningful differences between a healthy plant-based diet and a healthy omnivorous diet that had lots of plants. But this also leads me back to, you know, I don't think she's vegan. She's plant-based, right? She clearly did this because she thought it was the healthiest. Lots of people telling her to eat only plants, you know, which also explains why it's so easy for her to eat animal products again, right? It wasn't any sort of moral decision for her. It was just a diet. The raw alkaline part, oh my gosh. Again, just a severe lack of nutrition knowledge. And what happens because we have the internet and we have access to all these different voices, when you don't understand a topic, you don't know who to listen to. You don't know who's bullshitting. And there are people out there who can make raw alkaline vegan diets sound really credible or a carnivore diet sound really credible when they're not. The alkaline diet thing is total crap. It was debunked forever ago. The raw thing also debunked forever ago. There are good reasons to cook certain foods. You should eat some amount of fresh like fruits and vegetables too, but we get numerous benefits from cooking certain foods. All you're doing by eating raw is reducing the number of healthy plants you can eat, right? Because you, I mean, you can eat sprouted legumes, some sprouted legumes, but it's often a lot harder on digestion. You're probably not getting as much nutrition versus just cooking them. Grains, right? Like you're, you're just reducing the amount of variety in your diet. It's bad. To one day be a raw alkaline vegan. Until then, this is the diet that's helped me reach my goals and helped me feel good in my body. It's a tough thing to talk about. I don't want someone to feel bad and maybe she really did feel bad on her plant-based diet or just not as good. And regardless of the reason, she feels better now and that's good. But, you know, yeah, it sucks. She's eating animals. Hopefully it's minimal, although in this video, I mean, she's got the egg white cups and then the buffalo chicken wrap. So it seems like she's having animal products in every meal. But yeah, if you're eating a mostly plants diet and limiting your animal products, like you're still doing good. That's still a huge improvement for your health, for the environment, and for the animals. It can be scary talking about things like this because veganism is such a sensitive subject. People are vegan for many reasons, whether it be health or environmental or love for the animals or all of the above. Girl chicken, yeah. So she's eating animals and animal products at every meal. I'm aware how people could take this and how it can make them feel. But I'd rather be honest and share my story in my own words. 
Whether you're vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, white meat only, or fully carnivorous, I'm not going to judge you. Do what's best for you in your life at that moment. All that matters is that you're happy. And if you're happy, I'm happy. So there's a difference between being nice or courteous and being right or doing the right thing. At the beginning of the pandemic, I think someone on Twitter, someone I followed on Twitter said that the courteous thing would have been to continue to shake people's hands and not worry about distance. Um, but the right thing was to wear your mask and stay away from people and say, no, I'm not shaking your hand, even though that feels really rude and wrong. It was clearly the right thing to do. That's what's going on here. She's being very nice, right? Saying the you do you and anyone can eat anything and you just be happy and feel good. That's all that matters. But that's not the right thing. The right thing is to consider the impact of your diet. A diet can make you feel great, but still have a significant negative impact on the world. I would rather people really try to make a mostly plant or vegan diet work before just throwing their hands up and saying, well, you know, you do you and this is what works for me. That's how this video came across to me. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts and happy Halloween. You'll probably be seeing this on Halloween and I've published now like three videos in a row. So like happy Halloween, I guess. Don't get used to that. Like the video, subscribe. Thank you so much to all of my members and my patrons at patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. They help support the channel. They help keep it going. I do post two exclusive videos a month for tier two members and patrons. I do a vlog and then a controversial video. I'm about to upload this month's controversial. Thanks again, guys. New video soon. So I saw Hank Green play a game of connections at the end of his video. I thought that was really fun. The only problem is I'm really bad at connections. <laughs> I've played so many games and I think I've won without missing any three times. There are times where I don't get any of them, even the easy ones. It's so overwhelming. <laughs> There's so many words. <laughs> Best boy gaffer, Dolly. Okay, so it could be filming things. Gaffer, Dolly. The hell's a kroner? Is that money? A boom, boom, gaffer, Dolly. <gasps> Electrical? Packing? Duct? No. Oh man, I'm cooked. Best boy? What's a best boy? I I'm thinking like bus boy. Like at a restaurant? What's a best boy? <laughs> Stables. Is that something with horses? Best boy? Spike? Roller bay? Okay, we got rollerblade, skateboard. Wagon. Is there things on wheels? Dollies on wheels? Are they trying to trick me? Make me think it's Dolly, Gaffer, no no no. Goes with skateboard? Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, I got the easy one. The green's the easiest, right? Packing, electrical, packing tape, <gasps> electrical tape, duct tape, <gasps> gaffer tape. Okay, there's no idea tape. There's no boom tape. There's no best boy tape. There's no stables tape. There's no surge tape. There's no kroner tape. There's no rise tape. There's no spike tape, gaffer tape. Yes, the blue one. Okay, that's the third. That's the third. So I'm missing the yellow and the purple. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I might get all of them. A boom, a rise, a surge, a spike. Yay. <laughs> Okay, now, normally I'm not gonna lie, I just go boop, 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 boop. I don't even like try to guess what it is. I'm gonna try. Best boy, stables, idea, crooner. Like a crooner? See, I'm not sure what this is, so that's not good. Let's start with stable. Stables are dirty. Dirty idea. So it's not, it's not a word and then something, right? Because idea something, that's not like a phrase, right? Idea guy, is that a thing? An idea guy? <laughs> best boy, like the best boy? I, I don't, 
I truly have no idea. Retail chains with a letter. See, I hate those. Those are like not fun to me. How, how do you ever figure that out? So it's Best Buy, Ikea. What? Kroger. Kroger and Staples. I hate that. I think those are so dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Or I'm just dumb. But hey, I got three out of four. I'm pretty excited with that. And it's just so fun because I know people were mad when New York Times bought Wordle from the guy who made it, you know, and they thought, oh God, it's going to be a paid thing. It's going to suck now. But like Wordle's the same and they've only made better games. Like Connections is a by far better, like harder game. Even Threads, which isn't great, better than Wordle. The spelling one, which, oh man, you want to talk about sucking at a game. Oh my Lord. <laughs> the other day I got two words, two words. <laughs> 